mean, last time we shot, you guys were arguing outside, and you go and take a piss and come back, and you go, all right, Darren, and you shake his hand. And as you're shaking his hand, you go, that's piss, by the way. <laughs> oh, I caught on, though. It took it took a little bit, but yeah, I, after but your I figured hand was it was covered out. in piss. Yeah, I watched Way it. Way to go, bud. Well, yeah. Well. Anyway. Okay. Let's go to the movie. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Blood, guts, and booze. Well, what the f*** are we watching? I picked another movie. No idea. <clears throat> I'm excited about this one. I'm going to shut my eyes for a minute. B film. Huh. Death Machine. Have you seen Death Machine? I don't know. It sounds terrible. I might fall asleep. Death Machine. It was released in 1994. It was written and directed by Stephen Norrington, starring Brad Dourif as the villain. Is it Dor like Dourif? Dourif. Dourif. Brad Dourif. Brad Dourif. Brad Dourif. Brad Dourif. 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 Brad Dourif. Brad Dourif. D O U R I F. Dourif. The voice of Chucky. That's correct. <laughs> also. One, I think, an Academy Award for Billy Bibbit and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Fantastic movie. Really? Yes. This is the one movie he goes from timid to psycho in a second without warning. And he plays a f***ing awesome psycho. The plot centers around a group of freedom fighters with the intent of exposing the Shank Corporation on their immoral weapons projects. We're the good guys. Along the way, they meet the corporation's newly appointed joint chief executor, who's also just learning that said media allegations about the company are true, and decides to join the Freedom Fighters. I'm on your side! Behind all this madness is Jack Dante, Shank's chief engineer of the weapons project, who just happens to have a psychotic disposition. God, what a kick! What's it like to feel Dante has created the ultimate war beast that feeds on fear. In order for our heroes to complete their mission, they'll have to stop being afraid to survive. Want to live? You've got to stop being afraid. How are you going to manage that wise guy? How are you going to avoid being eaten alive? This movie was banned in several countries, including Iraq, China, Malaysia, and Australia due to the excessive violence which is strange because the movie is not excessively violent on any level. And also because of Brad Dourif's portrayal of the villain Jack Dante in which the character was accused of violent acute psychosis, profanity, lewd behavior, incitement to murder, and incitement to rape. <laughs> I guess the uh, these film boards forgot that it's just a f***ing movie. The budget on this movie was a reported $6.5 million. It was basically a limited release in theaters, and it had a worldwide gross of $3,129,565.65. Wow, you're very close. I have a strong sense of, like, like feeling. It had a worldwide gross of $3,129,045. So basically, this movie was a flop. Yeah. Order into chaos. Way of the world. Isn't that how you sleep, Darren? Just like that? <laughs> On Sundays. It was hard to hear, but at the very beginning of this, that wind was definitely the evil dead wind. <laughs> oh, that evil dead wind. I know it anywhere. I do. Hear that? It's evil dead wind. That's the second time you've mentioned evil dead wind in one of our goddamn episodes. I know. How but the wind is amazing. Because I've stolen it so many times, I can hear it. <laughs> This is f***ing stupid, him just punching this wall. Do you guys recognize this actor? Looks like my uncle that used to touch me behind the furnace. That is William Hootkins. Who, who, he is the chubby X-Wing pilot in the original Star Wars, who was Red Six. I can hold it! Pull up! No, I'm all right! You know what the pilot name for him was in Star Wars? Porkins. Can I make a comment? You put your beer label on the wrong side of your can. Oh, you want me to show off the fact that you wrote beer on a sticker? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you mean I put it on the wrong side? Watch. Way? I put it on the like label. Do you on know what the purpose of the label side. is? Yeah, to block out... To uh, block out the, the logo. Yeah. What have I blocked out? I'm blocking out oh, the logo. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Did you see him hit his head? Yeah. <laughs> of course she's where! Jack that guy looks super familiar. Yeah. I can't remember though. His name is Richard Brake. Oh. 
He's in Rob Zombie's 31. That's right. And he's in, um, he's going to be in Three from Hell. Yes. Which is the sequel to Devil's Rejects. When you got it. Wow. This guy's smoking a joint. <laughs> he's in a business meeting and he's smoking a joint. This company has a leak that they have been experimenting on people against their will. She's this new person in charge because the original guy who was in charge has been murdered. The coroner report showed that it was a shark attack, but he died in the building. So now she wants this project shut down and she wants to meet the guy who's in control of the project, who is Brad Dorf. Dor Dorf. 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 Brad Dorf. Dorf. Well, you know it's yeah. the 90s because she's got an eyebrow piercing. 1994 this was made. What were you doing in 1994? 1994 I was 13. I was probably just dreaming about touching titties. I heard that Kurt Cobain killed himself. I was devastated. You loved, loved, Nirvana. admired. It changed everything. You used to wear that lady's trench oh coat gosh. because you thought it looked like Kurt Cobain's. What? <laughs> I bought it at the VV Boutique and I thought I looked stunning. At the VD Boutique? VV, VV, VV Boutique. Where the f was that? Via Village. They were around in 1994? Yeah, I've been around for a long I don't time. remember that. Neither do I. I think it was Goodwill. No. Probably hand me down from your mom. Mm -hmm. Mumra. Mumra. Thundercats. Mumra. I had that jackal guy. He was from Thundercats. Yeah. I had those underwear too. <laughs> Would anybody like a no name candy? I wouldn't mind one. Just like one or two. You could just put it in my hand. Are you worried that my hand might be covered with dude? This. I had an experience with that. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, come on, Bobby T. If you keep saying you're that getting nothing, you be in my goddamn head. <laughs> Holy, he's a monster. You wasted one. Yeah, it's right there. It's orange. It's to the right of your sack. <laughs> Don't I know you? Sweet coke nail, bud. It's it's an actual metal razor blade, like finger attachment. Yeah, for coke. Darren, do you have any extra bandanas? Maybe I could wear. How many colors do you have this uh, week? Green, brown. Gray. Now, why did you bring different color bandanas? Well, I had an incident at a local pub with some young kids that just had an issue with, like, a baby blue bandana. So you came here with multiple colors in case one of us was offended? It's not I don't about... I can understand. It's not about us. So these people had a problem with your the blue color, bandana, yeah. and they were calling you out on it? Yeah, and it was... Are you sure that's what it was? My demeanor was lackadaisical. Quang. They're professionals. You know what's terrible? Is this movie has like no budget and these graphics are still better than Escape from LA. <laughs> when I was in college, this, this kid made a TV show and his effects looked a lot like this. How about the phobe? Do you remember that? I never saw it, but I heard about it. Like a phobia? Yeah, the phobe. It's terrible. We should it's watch like, that for an it's episode. It's a legend. I, I don't know if I can even get through it. If you think we should watch The Phobe as an episode, comment below. No. I'll be surprised if anybody even knows what that is, but it's got it's it's local people that would know. Right. Time of the month. Did you say time of the month? Time of the month, yeah. <laughs> Well, I've just been counting down the days till I never have to see Darren again. Do you know that if you decide to leave this episode, we're going to get a replacement for you? Who? Yeah, hot chick Who? big knockers. Who? No, I, how about Lucio? Uncle Dan, hurry up, come to the table. It's Thanksgiving. There's this linoleum floor. Uncle Dan, got to give that thing during dinner. Thanks you to cut the garbage turkey. We got serious problems here. Uncle Dan's losing some steam. What the f*** <laughs> We're having a party once, and Lucio's talking, and there's a counter over there with like bowls of chips and stuff. And as he's talking about something, he's looking over like he wants a chip, but it's too far to walk over from here to there. So he looks down. Remember when I had Evil? I had a boxer, Evil. His dog food's down there. So Lucio picks up the bowl, and he starts eating kibble right out of the bowl. Kibble chewing on it, and he puts it down, finishes the story, and walks away like nothing. What the f just happened. See, that's the thing. He doesn't actually want to eat kibble. I think he just gets lost in the moment. Yeah, he's like Darren Todrick. <laughs> you guys just like being ham, so the camera. Bobby T, what do you think? I want what I got. Trolling, 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 quick, 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 quick. I will fing stab like you. Like a little bunny rabbit. Bitch. I'm not going to be a little bunny, bunny rabbit. rabbit. I want a goddamn root beer. Oh, it's my favorite. 
See? Look at him. What a f***ing ham. He can't even f***ing handle himself. He needs to be the f***ing center of attention all the time. All the time. All the time. The ultimate tape waster. Fear. That's the war beast yes. right there. I'll tell you right now what that reminds me of. Robert Williams painting Appetite for Destruction. It was used on the inside of Appetite for Destruction. The You're girl that, right. the girl that was raped. The beast is the grill on that Williams? Thing? His name is Robert Williams. Oh. And the title of the painting is Appetite for Destruction. Fun fact, that painting that's on the inside, that was supposed to be the cover, but it was way too Graphic. over the top for the time. There is a psycho death bot on the loose. Psycho death bot? <laughs> death bot. Oh. Give me another one of those gummies. Which one, uh, which one? Why do you keep shaking it? Like? They're not even moving. Wow. You f***ing dummy. Wow. What is this, like a f***ing game at the fair? Where do you get these snacks from? I make them. I thought you made these f***ing toenail clippings. Ooh, you never know. <laughs> Interesting fact about Darren's toenail clippings, he still won't clip his own toenails. Oh, no. He gets his mom to do it for him. That's bullshit. He did up until like That's he was all 30. The, it's all in the past. When did you get over that? <sighs> do we have to talk about that? Oh, it's so f***ing. Weird. The more I learn so about you, Darren. Stupid. When we when we lived together yeah, at River ever. Road in 2001, he would honestly leave his house, drive to his mom's, and get his mom to cut his toenails, and then come back. Like they would grow <laughs> so to so like you know those pictures where they're starting to curl. Then he'd be like, oh, I gotta go to my mom's and get her. Sounds like toenails. your dog coming across the hardwood. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, Darren's home. Yeah, I would get nervous when that started to happen. And then I had girlfriends cut my toenails. Oh, that is. Revolting. Yeah. And then my that drum is fing revolting, yeah. Darren. And then my drummer, Mark, he would cut my tongue back. Oh, no! That's dedication. Cage. I would kick you out of my fing house. But I learned, I. <laughs> I eventually learned how to do it myself. <laughs> is it really that fing hard, Darren? Yeah. Oh my god. I had an experience. So you were doing that up until when? 30 years old. <laughs> it's a trust issue with you, eh? You can't even get a haircut. Oh, I know. What, what would you do if somebody clipped your toenail too short? Oh my god. I would f***ing scream and I would probably like, like hit him on the head. Like that. Like that. So the f I would hit him with my f***ing Well, face. that's what you get for having somebody else clip your toenails, you f***. So this movie, what I've gathered so far, is they had enough budget to make one arm and two feet. Is that blood? Yeah, that blood looks terrible. <laughs> that's, not and that's not blood. blood. No, it's painted red. You know what's awesome? When they finally are faced with this thing, there's a part where Buddy grabs a gun, and he looks at the chick, and he goes, Hey, Shouruken! Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter 2. What does Lieutenant Guile say? Sonic Boom! Played by Jean-Claude Van Damme in the Street Fighter movie. And I heard that uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme was a super on that movie set. I heard he's a super d on a lot of movie sets. Cool you actually up. know what killed his career? After Time Cop <sighs> yeah. and Jim Carrey started uh, getting a lot of money for his movies. Duh. Well, Jean-Claude Van Damme thought he was so popular that he demanded the same thing and they're like, no. And nobody would put him in anything. Did you see a movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme in it called Welcome to the Jungle? I did. That, <laughs> that's pretty funny, that movie. <laughs> that is that really funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> We got it. That was good. It that was, was really uh, funny. Was Coming back around again. Funny. The first role Jim Carrey ever played was in a Dirty Harry movie called The Deadpool. And he played a character in a band at a f***ing music video set. And the music in the background that he was supposed to be in this video to was Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. This is before In Living Color? Way before. Cut to a clip. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, no shit. What? Interesting. Yeah? Go fax yourself. Oh, snap. Oh, my gosh. Don't take them all. Crying out loud. Look at that scoop. <laughs> you got, like, all oh. my Coca-Cola bottles. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. Wow. World's smallest knife. Like, <laughs> you would make that sound effect. Yeah, at first I thought it was a fucking beer opener. BBJ fucking sounds. Yeah. <laughs> she just dug that fucking thing out of her wrist. Yeah. She missed 
all the veins and arteries in her wrist. Very yeah. important arteries. They the tied it off with one of Darren's bandanas, actually. <laughs> no problem. I probably put my arm up above my heart level. If you've got something on your wrist, you'd probably have a broken rib. Broken yeah, rib? Probably stub your middle f***ing finger trying to do it. You're heckling me. Both of you are heckling me. Heckles. What the f*** is it? What is it f***ing biting at? Just, like, move through the hole. It can't get through the hole. It's Break trying. it. Break it down. It's like rabbit. It's, it's a rabbit it's dog. Problem, right? Yeah. It doesn't stop. And do not argue! Me and Darren are trying to figure out why this guy keeps yelling. They were trying to hide and sneak around, and this guy's just screaming shit. I guess that was their way of portraying... Because he's got no fear, right? <coughs> so if you were feared, you'd be more quiet. I think that's... So he's always amped up. <laughs> there goes his head. Oh, look at that excessive violence. I can see why it was banned. <laughs> you could probably make an old lady knitting a sweater on a, an old singer look more horrific than that. You better shut the f up! Oh! Now, did you see that? He shot the woman. She's wearing a white shirt and white pants. That's black. Yeah, it's a black pant. And she goes down. Yeah, because it looked like it shot his leg. They f***ed it up big time. Big time. Holy donuts! That looks cool. That's the picture. That's the in, only good that shot. That was the picture in Fangoria that I had on my wall when I was a kid. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's the shark attack? Is that the shark attack? Yeah. Oh my god. The teeth. Don't leave me in here, Kale. I don't like it. Kale, if you leave me in here, I will kill you. I mean it, you f***ing bitch. I'm gonna blow you to bits. Oh, no. It's hell of fire trap in there, man. You better listen to me because I'm dangerous. So he finally went hopelessly mad. Those are the two ultimate effects of this thing. Death machine, Bobby T. It was f***ing terrible. <laughs> oh, you didn't like it. I hope I never see it again. You really think it was that bad? Yeah, I was like, out of a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 2. That bad? Yeah. The problem with it was it was cheap, but they obviously didn't realize that it was cheap. Most cheap movies, they re understand it's a joke, and they play it up. I think this movie would have been better if they had to, like, did more tongue-in-cheek shit, like made jokes on the fact that it was bad. Darren? Well, I think I got enough of it to realize why I don't remember seeing it on VHS. I watch it again, and I, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. There should have been more interaction with the stop motion creature with the fucking prey. It was just like you hear it go. And then hear this, the teeth going. Okay. You just spit. Just spit. Yeah, I know. All right, there's right. a lot of spit. Stop. Stop. Out of 10, 2.63. 2.63. I would give this movie a 6. What? Yes. What? And I'll tell you why. There's four versions of this movie. You can tell, man, watching this movie, I'm telling you, you can tell that something was up and they still were able to pull it off and there was problems making this. It's a fun movie. And I love Brad Durst's role. So yeah, blood gets a booze. I'm empty. <clears throat> Till the next time. Next time. Woo! Cheers! Uh, thanks for watching uh, Blood, Guts, and Booze. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our... Uh, what do you even call this? A show? Let us know what you thought about the episode. Comment on any kind of movies you guys want us to watch. Make sure you like and subscribe. And let us know a helpline that we can give Darren yeah. to call because he apparently needs some. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. I'm tired Thank you. of this world. <laughs>